it's Ashley here with this week's Stamp Crate Repeat for your next stamp. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little shaker card that I made. This new cloud die that came out is so stinking cute. I was so excited to turn it into a shaker card. So today I'm going to make this birthday card and I'm going to get started by just sharing with you the products that I use and I'll link them all in the description box so you can find them over in the Your Next Stamp store. So first of all I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink, the Wire Snips, I use the Blueberry Blitz Sparkly Gumdrops, they are gorgeous. I use the light blue and that second um, darker blue there. I also use these pots of confetti glitters that I got at Michael's. I found these on the mixed media aisle. And then I use this Dragon Tails paper pad by Doodlebug. It has this super cute cloud paper there. For the stamp set for this week, I used Pigs Can Fly. It's so stinking cute. And these little sentiment banners here I thought matched perfectly with this little plane with the idea that I thought of to take the actual washi tape die set. And it reminded me of those little banners that can fly behind airplanes with little messages so I thought it'd be so cute to use that tiny little washi banner and it actually fits the happy birthday congratulations and the um, other one the snort snort or the oink oink snort sentiment. I also of course use the coordinating die to cut out the little piggy there and then for the cloud die this is the cloud panel die it's absolutely gorgeous I think it'd be so precious for a spring card or even for like little baby cards I think it would be so cute. So let's get started and I'll share with you how I made my card. So to begin with, I'm gonna use this Pigs Can Fly stamp set. I'm gonna stamp out this cute little guy on the airplane and I'm using the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink as well as the Recollection 65 pound cardstock. So I'm just stamping out the happy birthday sentiment there as well. I'm taking the wire snips to trim apart the dies and I'm just gonna use some washi tape to hold that down. And then I'm just um, centering the little washi banner there so that there's a little bit of white on either side and it's nice in the middle there. I'm just running that through and I'll show you the little reveal and it just looks so cute with that behind the airplane. So to begin with I'm going to be using Copic markers. I'm using R32 for the pig and this is one of my favorite color combos for coloring pigs. It's such a good one. It looks just like the real color of pigs and then I'm going in with R30. For the little wings I'm going to use B000. And for the blue part here I'm using B49. B13 and then B10. For the other part of the plane, I thought it'd be super cute to do green, so I'm using G07. And then I'm gonna use YG06, YG03, and YG02. I just cannot get over how cute this little pig is. I love coloring pigs for some reason. They're just so stinking cute. And this is a really cute set for any occasion. And I think it would be so precious for a baby card. For the blue that I'm using here, it's B05, B02, B00, and B000. And you could do the whole plane a whole color, but I thought it'd be really cute to do a few different colors. So I end up doing that same blue color combo for um, the back wings and also the little propeller. For the little scarf that he's wearing, I used B66 and B63, and I just did every other of the little stripes. Then I'm going to go in with the green color and I'm going to do the other two little wings there. So again, that's G07, YG06, YG03, and YG00. So, so cute. I love how this little guy turned out. Then I'm going to go in with that same blue color that I used previously and it is BG13 and BG10 just to do the other little bits on his scarf. I'm just taking my black jelly pen for his eyes and his little nose snout there. I used R20 on his cheeks and then I used my Posca pen for some white accents and a little dot on each of the cheeks. To begin the shaker portion, I took the cloud panel die and that really cute cloud paper and cut that out. Then I took the cloud panel die and I cut it out on two pieces of foam sticker paper. You can see the back parts adhesive. I purchased these at Michael's and they're amazing for doing shaker cards. I like to do two of them so I, I um, cut two of them out and then I also have a little piece of packaging there which I'll use um, 
to adhere to the cardstock so that none of the little pieces come out. So I'm just attaching these two little pieces of foam. I like to use two so that it's nice and thick and then you can put even more glitter in it and it shakes about really nicely. So I took the back piece off of that adhesive and I put it down on the card. I'm going to take some adhesive and go around the whole outside of this cloud panel die and I have to say that it is perfectly like positioned on here. It was so easy to add all the little adhesive bits in. I'm just trimming apart here this little packaging piece and because it has two pieces I'm just attaching it so that it only will have one and then I can add my little panel down here and just trim off the side so there's no excess and that's a great way to use up old packaging. Now that I have all that trimmed out, I can get out my glitter. So I have these two pots of glitter that I got from Michaels. This one has really cute little blue stars in it. And then I have one with confetti. So I'm just going about and putting a little bit in each of the little clouds there. These are so cute. You could put in sequins, but because I really wanted to get some good shake in there, I thought it'd be nice to use some glitter. So I'm just filling those babies full. And now I'm going to use the other blue glitter part. And then I can push it all around and just make sure that there's no glitter left on that foam piece because if there is, this adhesive won't stick well. So make sure you get all that part off and now you can take your adhesive and go all the way around the outside. Just make sure none of the adhesive goes in where the cloud is because again, it will um, not allow the glitter to be shaking about. So now that I've got all the little bits adhered, I can push it down and there's our shaker portion, which looks so cute. I love how it turned out so much. So now I can adhere on our little sentiment and the little piggy there. And I just think it looks so cute with this little tail banner behind. So again, I'm just taking some adhesive and I'll adhere down the little happy birthday sentiment part first. And then I'll adhere down the little piggy on the airplane. Now that I have that part, I'm just going to add on a little bit of gumdrops. It just gives a little bit of dimension and sparkle on the front. So I'm just taking some of the light blue and that medium color blue, and I'm going to use um, a medium and a small in both of the sizes. And that is my project for this week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. I will make sure to link all the products that I shared with you in the description box below. I would love if you have time if you leave a comment and make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now.